The ancient world, especially Egypt, was a fascinating place. Believe it or not, not every part of Egyptian history made it into the record books. I bet you never knew Egypt had the earliest recorded gay couple. The Netflix series Cleopatra has been making waves for all the wrong reasons, the main one being cultural expropriation. The ancient Egyptians had a rich culture and was one of the most advanced civilizations of the ancient world. It's speculated that due to their advanced status, Egypt was a tolerable society. Talmudic literature suggests that ancient Egyptians were known for their liberal sexual lifestyles and are often used as the prime example of sexual liberation and freedom of sexual identity. Homosexuality in ancient Egypt, however, is a disputed subject within Egyptology. Only a handful of evidence survived today which can give us insights to what ancient Egyptians thought about homosexuality. Before we continue, we publish videos every Saturday and Sunday. So remember to click like and subscribe. Also, if you enable notifications, you'll be the first to know whenever we post new videos. We also love hearing from you, so please leave a comment. Now back to the video. So what evidence still exists in support of homosexuality in ancient Egypt? Carvings known as hieroglyphs are what historians use to understand ancient Egypt. They are found in tombs, pyramids, temples, and scrolls. So who was the first recorded gay couple of ancient Egypt? Ancient Egypt holds many secrets. Deciphering hieroglyphics is the only tool historians have to understanding their culture and daily lives. Knumhotep and Nyanknam were royal servants of Pharaoh Nyasar Eni and were buried together in a tomb 2500 BC. First believed to be brothers or close friends, it is now widely agreed by historians that they were gay lovers. It's evident from their depiction in the tomb that they were in a romantic relationship. They are depicted in close embrace, much to the contrast of other images that surrounds them. When their tomb was discovered, it was evident that they were no ordinary servants. Servants usually didn't get the royal treatment when it came to burial. It's clear that they were very important to the pharaoh, or perhaps he wanted their legacy to live on beyond their death. A love like theirs needs to be remembered for all time, and that's what the burial chamber did. Perhaps they were the only publicly out gay couple, and the pharaoh wanted to honor them. Or homosexuality was more acceptable back then than we realize, and that their temple is just one of many gay tombs waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. Also, check out some of the other videos on this channel.